If you look very carefully, there's a Disney behind that tree. Boo! <laughs> Is it someone's birthday today? Is it someone's birthday today? Happy birthday to you. Wait, I feel like a beat's off. Happy birthday. No, no, that's so. Uh, huh? 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 <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> what what matters is that you tried, Dizzy? I, I, I did okay. I did okay, right? Chat, right, love bugs? Uh, am I am I drunk? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm not drunk. Uh, I just had coffee, actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I think I might be a little bit hyper right now because I just had some caffeine. Um, yeah, I, I was genuinely trying not to today. I've been sort of avoiding caffeine, but I just was so like groggy and like ill prepared. Like I hadn't done any work today um, that I really needed it. And I don't know. I think I might be a little bit dependent on this point because I thought, can I be real with you chat? I, I thought, <laughs> I thought I was depressed. I thought I was going through like a really bad bout of depression because I, I kind of had like an emotional moment last night. No, no, I, I, all I needed was coffee. I just needed caffeine. I was just really tired. <laughs> caffeine addiction? I mean other things there are in this world to be addicted to. Other things in this world to be addicted to. That's like... That's even a big top 10 for bad, right? Right? She was just jonesing real bad. Dizzy needs to slow down all those energy drinks. Uh, go, 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 go. If you can't open my veins, you'll find monster energy. No, you'll find phase goo. Phase goo. There's actually no merch for me to show right now. I mean, there's birthday merch, but, 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 but I'm not in it. And this is with Dizzy Doka Rose show. Well, we will Nemo, thank you for $5. Feeling sad? Have another coffee on me. Oh, thank you. I'm good though. I think if I have another coffee, my heart might give out. Uh, anyways, we're five minutes into it. So we, we're gonna start now. Having a coffee or two in the morning is still way better than smoking every day. Exactly. So um, I'll see you guys in five, four, three, two. Hi. <laughs> I, I guess I dropped the one. Were you guys gambling? Have you guys been gambling in pre-stream chat again? Not me. Okay, okay, okay. Not at all. Well, well, you, you're still not even membered here. Seeker, thank you for a super chat. Keep up a good work, Dizzy. Love the streams. Aw, thank you, Seeker. Um, was that too enthusiastic? I feel like that was too enthusiastic. I'm overthinking it now. Uh, thank you, Seeker. Was that less enthusiastic? I can't tell. Sage, thank you for $2. Maybe. Sage. Hi, if you're just coming in. Hello, hello, hello. And hi, love bugs. I've missed you. Did you miss me? Oh, I can start turning my desktop audio on today. Nice, 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 nice. You've had too much coffee, it seems. Yeah. I'm like, kind of buzzing, kind of buzzing, but that's okay because today we're playing. Well, does why I'm playing actually make it okay? No, no, it doesn't. I need to segue, so we're segue into playing Harvester, which is a game from the 1990s, which is kind of crazy. 
1990s. This game is Pina. I haven't watched any playthroughs. I know Tenma played it. I know Tenma played on stream. But, um... Uh, why did I pick it up? I was just kind of looking around for horror games. And it was like, between this and something else this week. Um, so I picked it up and I'm excited for it. Um, I don't know. 1990s, that was what now? Now like... 30 years ago, that's crazy. Yuki Nagato, thank you for being a member of 7 months. Bean juice good, especially at night. <laughs> Is this like Harvest Moon? Thank you, Auntie, and I'll see you later for the super chat. Yeah! Yeah, this is totally like Harvest Moon. Totally! Dizzy face copy Ivy drip machine on merch store one. Ah! Wouldn't that be interesting? I think that would be cool packaging. Maybe I can get made. Maybe I can ask. Um. <sighs> Shout out, do not do the math. The 90s was yesterday. It feels like it, doesn't it? It feels like it. You know what else is making me nostalgic? Actually, let's start a game. Um. New game? Yes. Let's start from here. Grandma, Digimon? Hey, hey, Digimon had a, has new IP. New, Digimon has new content every year. It's not old. I'm not old. Oh, it's too loud. Second. One second. Very loud. Oopsies. Oopsies. There. It should be better for you. Oopsies! Cutting edge 3D graphics? Agreed. Um, but yeah, you know what else made me feel old today, guys? Oh, this is spooky. Spooky! Should I increase the... Should I increase the screen size? I know it's like just got popped back in a second. Fun fact, uh, the first Digimon movie was released this day 25 years ago. Yeah! Yeah, I know. Thank you, Red Chipley, for the super chat. Uh, while we're here, though, while we're here, let me catch up on those gifted memberships that you guys are gambling on. Oh, was that loud? That seems really loud. Okay. Um, really, really, really quickly. Well, we will need thank you for the gifted membership. Twin Art Rock Machine, thank you for what gifted membership. Crispy, thank you for the gifted membership. Twin Earthwork Machine, thank you for the gifted membership again. Night Protector of Chubas, thank you for a gifted membership. Seeker, thank you for the gifted membership. Chet Boater, thank you for a gifted membership. Sage, thank you for a gifted membership. Twin Earthwork Machine, thank you for a gifted membership. Wouldn't you save money if you just set five at once? Bow Weevil Nevo, thank you for a gifted membership. Citrus, thank you for a gifted. Why do you guys choose to send these all as singulars? Why are these all singulars? Citrus, thank you for a gifted membership. Uh, Night Protector of Chuba, thank you for a gifted membership. Low Popcorn Man, thank you for a gifted membership. Blink, thank you for a gifted membership. Seeker, thank you for a gifted membership. Will Fawns, thank you for a gifted membership. Will Fawns, thank you for a gifted membership. <sighs> oh boy, that was a mouthful. Wait, is this thing just replaying over and over again? No? Oh, yes? God damn it. One second while I just adjust the screen. Um. Yeah. 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 He looks just like me for real, for real. Yeah. There you go. Whoa, look at those graphics. You skipped it? Was there something I was supposed to watch? Oh, God. Okay. Well, we're starting. Uh, Goyochi Hero, thank you for the super chat. The Digimon movie OST was all SKA and pop punk. Um, what was on the... Okay, we can restart this. We can restart this, fine. Okay, we're restarting this. Guys? Don't say I don't love you. Ska! Ska music. What is Ska? What is Ska? Man killed so many unfortunate ways. Nah, nah, I'm great at these games. Someone tell him, chat. Someone tell him, I'm great at these games. Ska! 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 
jazz, trumpets, but rock and roll. That's actually, that actually sounds very cool. That actually sounds very cool. Horns, horns. Citrus, thank you for your $5. Bagamba is part of it. But I just hate grays. Don't say that you're gonna hurt your feelings. There, there, Grays. It's not your fault you were born into poverty. <laughs> Papa Joe Killer, thank you for the uh, 199. She is, in fact, bad at this game. Hey! Hey! Will Fawns, I want to be the only Gray left. Did that happen before? Did I miss that? Did I complete? Did that happen before? Yes. Quinn Ardbar, thank you for the gifted membership. Uh, Li Liquid Fizz, no thank you for a super chat. This game is very based in that code, by the way. I hope you love it. I hope so too. I hope we have a good time today. Well, Bob, thank you for the one gifted membership. I still don't know how to process my feelings towards someone who is a gray name trying to gift other people memberships so that he can be the only gray name. Because if you sign up for membership, you will have fabulous benefits, such as access to my... Can someone count how many emojis I have? It's kind of based. Based? <laughs> based on what? Dude. Dude. I don't know why, but that phrase, based on what, gets to me so badly. Based on reality and based on the signature sentence. Oh, oh, hello, good morning. Hello. Damn, I can't believe the 90s looked like this. He's topless? He's a slut! He's a dirty, dirty, dirty whore! Dirty, dirty boy! Yeah, that's right, you're such a dirty boy, aren't you? Oh, do I just click? Is this point and click? Oh, no, I can use... Use arrow keys, too. Um... Wait. Hi! Say hi! Say hi! Wait, can I make him turn? Ooh! You spin me right around, baby, right around when you... Like a record, baby. Mm. <laughs> ah! Arc Lights, thank you for the five gifted memberships. Much appreciated. Wrong decade, Dizzy. Hey. Hey. It's never the wrong decade for that song. It's also never the wrong decade for Can You Dance? Can You Dance? Everybody, look at your hands. It's a Saturday dance! <laughs> this, is, this has the look of a late 90s PC game. That's because it is a late 90s PC game. Meta, thank you for five gifted memberships. Okay, but let's figure out what I have to do. Um, let's check out the bookshelf. A handful of faded hardback. Just litter the lower shelf. Okay, cool. The dresser drawer is unlocked. Okay. Go! Go forward! Go forward! Oh, operate the dresser. What is that? Is that a joint? Oh, it's a pen. What is that? Quarter? A 25 cent piece, dated 1952. Do you think average, like, regular coins like this go up in value? Do you think, like, a, like a quarter from 1952 has additional value to regular quarters these days? If I could sell it? Um... How about con I, Joe? Where I've come from, where, where I... Where will you go? I think they were made of silver back then. Were they actually? That's crazy. Wait, sunglasses. As of yet, the future isn't so bright. I don't need to hear that! That's the opposite of what I needed today! Mm hmm? Mm hmm? 
They do the off in value, but it's too slow. You need 50 years minimum to make some average profit. Okay, can someone explain to me how... How, um... What's it called? Um... Um, what are they called? Coin collecting works? Personally... Obviously some fat high school girl left it there. What you doing with fat high school girls, buddy? Buddy, what you doing? Can someone, like, explain coin collecting? You get coins, you collect coins. Obviously. Obviously. But like, what's the point? Coin shiny, very cool. Did you never play Mario games? Dizzy, it's simple. I don't get it. I don't get it. You will find out probably. I don't know. I don't know. What is this? Who's Hank? What's wrong with Hank? What? Who are you? Who am I? Where am I? Who are you? Who? Wait, how does that song go? Okay, I don't. <laughs> I think what we're gonna have any ho hobby is artistic people. Ah. Uh, what should I ask? Who are you? Leave me alone, Steve, or I'll tell mom on you. Keyword, mom, Steve, other, Steve. Steve, are you talking to me? Yeah, only I don't wanna be. Because I'm trying to watch my cowboy show. I'm sorry. Look, I'm telling you, I need your help. I've lost my memory. Have not. Cut That's it out. That's such a I'm weird jump of dialogue. That's a blaze. Thank work, you for, for rating. Hi, blaze. Leave me alone. I'm sick. Hold on. Uh, let me do this. This well properly. Hello, raiders. I feel like I'm saying hello. Ooga, 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 blaze, 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 boing, 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 boing. <laughs> Hi, Raiders, thank you for raid, thank you for raid, Blaze. I hope you guys enjoyed Blaze's stream today. My name is Dizzy Duck Girl. Wait, 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 I should do a thing. Dizzy, Dizzy Duck Girl, Ducky, Ducky Duck Girl of Phase Connect, Phase Invaders, and I hope that um, you'll stick around for the rest of this stream because we're playing Harvester, which is a game from the 1990s. And uh, y'all remember the 90s? I remember. <laughs> we just started, so feel free to stick around, catch up. Mm -hmm. Is Dizzy the real Dizzler? I am the Rizziest and the Dizziest of the Dizzlers. Yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Jack Jones, thank you for the, the currency. I think that's Dong, actually. Thank you for the 20,000 Dong. Um, I can catch a stream for once. Hey, love, God help me. Hey, love, hey, life. <laughs> I'm gonna Jack Tag and I'm gonna inject Hag directly into into my bloodstream, aging myself 30,000 years. <laughs> um, let's see. To ask them about being sick or the cowboy show. Which which form of sick is he? Is he like mentally ill? Is he physically ill? Is he sick in the membrane? Uh, Pepperidge a farm remembers. <laughs> Cowboys. Okay, let's ask about the cowboy show. Have you noticed that your show is in black and white? What else? Color on a TV? Well, I color. I think I've seen a colored television before. Have not. Quit it! I'm gonna tell. Hey, look at that. Your mother let you watch this stuff? Yeah. Sure. This is part of history. What made America great. And besides, blood and guts are needed. Okay, he's not wrong. He's not wrong. Blood and guts are pretty freaking neat, though. America for America. I'll stand from National Anthem. 
Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light? What so proudly we air at the twilight's last Slovakia, Slovakia, can you, um, can you sing the entire Slovakian national anthem in chat? Thank you very much. <laughs> what the fuck did I just tune into? Cowboy shows! yippee ki yay mamacita! <laughs> um, Lil Kid didn't watch that. You're right, that is really neat. That Really I'm glad you're catching on, Steve. You're not too bad for a lousy rat. Okay, I should ask him about being sick. Okay? What's wrong with you? Sick. I got a headache and a stomachache. Then why aren't you in bed? Because I want to watch my cowboy show. You look all right to me. I'm not faking it. I couldn't go to school because I'm sick. Daddy's sick in bed, too. And Mom believes me anyway. So shut up. Baby boy, aren't you a little bit too old to be calling your dad, daddy? Your dad is asleep? He and mom went at it last night pretty hard. He stayed in bed. I saw what she did to him. It was pretty bad. What did she... Right like you don't know. I saw you and her on the couch last Wednesday night. Guess that's why she's grounded now, huh? Too bad you wouldn't pay me, and I had to tell, huh? Wait, what are you man, talking who? about? What girl? What? Is there another one, too? Wait till I tell. What girl? What girl? I don't know what girl you're talking about. All summer, it's been Stephanie this and Stephanie that. Stephanie. And now you don't remember? You think I'm dumb or something? You and his mom? No, Not I just lie, can't remember awesome anything, like I step. said. Well, you better remember quick, because the wedding's in two weeks. I'm Married? What? Leave me alone so I can watch TV. Holy shit! Holy shit, is this my graduation the stream? I always said the day I get married is the day I quit. Well, shit! <laughs> finally! What do you mean, finally? What's up with congrats? Should you guys be sad? Liquid Bismuth, thank you for it before 99. Also, hopefully you have a cut. Cutscene fixing patches installed. There's patches I was supposed to install. <laughs> Congrats! It's happening! It's happening, love bugs! We never thought we'd see the day! <sighs> I'm so glad she found someone. Shouldn't you guys be sad? Shouldn't you be like, woohoo! Ooh, hooey, hoo, hoo. This is getting married. This is leaving us. It's all over. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. I said I don't want to talk about her anymore. Okay. That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. But this is one old fashioned clunker. Old fashioned? It's brand new. Yeah, but look at the tube. Where's the remote control? Oh! What's that? I... Now that I think about it, I can't remember. And what was that you said? About retro rockets? You used to it into the 1950s no, retro. It means, as a white guy. It means... Oh man, I know what I mean. That everything here is wrong. But I can't picture the difference. Then shut up and quit bugging me. I'm watching my cowboy show. He's very serious about his cowboy shows. November 7, 1955. Did it have a date somewhere? Does it have a date? Oh god, about style? You don't like the style? You don't like the... You don't like the popcorn ceiling? You don't like, um... The wallpaper? The floral wallpaper? You don't like my choice of decor? You don't like the fact... Okay! Quick question, do you guys actually have fire hydrants in your home? 
Wait, who's this? Why are there so many little boys in this house? Examine the power lines, high voltage power lines, babe, your home in a wholesome old fashioned electromagnetic field. field. You feel very humming in your dream. How poetic. Hydrants inside the home. Sorry, is it not a hydrant? Is it not? Extinguishers, yeah, do you guys have fire extinguishers? Is that just like, is that really a thing people keep in their homes? I install them on our property to fight bush fire. <laughs> hey, bush. Steve, I'm Jimmy James. Remember <laughs> me? Uh, I guess not. Hey, how come you haven't been putting the paper out for me in the morning? I've got better things to do. I'm supposed to, I don't remember. Kid! Kid, are you even old enough to be reading the paper? All the paper has is tales of violence, war, and rage. Shouldn't you be, shouldn't you be reading something else, kid? I'm supposed to, yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, try to remember, will ya? Oh God, he's How'd bad. you expect a working Joe to make an honest living? You don't put the paper out, I'm out of a job. Yeah, out of a job. So what? You don't get paid for picking up papers anyway. The Sentinel building burnt down. What the heck else am I supposed to do? Listen, start putting that paper out and everything will be Jake, okay? That's all I want. That and a pair of sneakers. Walking this route every day has worn holes in mine. Say, you got any spare sneakers? Y'all, do have any spare sneakers? Nope, sorry. Oh, gee whiz. Look, if you find any, I'd be willing to trade you for them. Something really neato. Think about it. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Okay, Jimmy James. If I if I see any sneakers, I will come trade you. Maybe bring a cabinet. Fine bone china gleams from the mahogany shelves. Gleams. Can I walk? Walk, 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 walk. What about now? Examine your inventory. No. Nope. It's in my inventory. Nothing. Nothing's in my inventory. Spring 1953. Oh, God. Oh, golly gee. What's this? Oh, newspapers? I put these out for him. No! God, you can tell that this game was made in the 1990s because it's really, really clunky. Okay, I can pick up newspaper, I guess. Can't even read them? Nope! How weird has it gotten? Not very. We just started. We just started hanging out. Oh, clock. A pendulum-driven cuckoo clock of a cuckoo oddly absent. You gotta find the cuckoo then. Wait, that's the cuckoo! Let's see, let's see. Do I have anything here? Is that in basketball? Sir? Sir, what about his chest? Yes, he's limited in range of motion. Mmm. Closet, maybe? Flannel shirts accompanied with matching blue jeans are hanging neatly in the closet. Yeah, but I'd like to see them if possible. These old point and click games can sometimes be a bit slow burn to start. Ash. Uh, I sure do see it. Yeah. No, that's my room again. Hmm. Are two maybe here? Kitchen? Oh, there's mom! First, let's check the oven if there's any snacks. Cookies are baking in the oven. Wait, there's a baby! There's a fucking baby in the- Where's this a baby here? A newborn is sleeping soundly. In the kitchen! Why is there a child in the kitchen? Are we eating him? Yo, mom is hot? Oh uh, yeah. All five of her pixels are very, very hot. Cookies. These cookies are hot, hot out of the oven. Let's talk mom. 
Well, hello there. How about some cookies? There's plenty of rejects in the trash. Who are you? M That's huh? a fine way to talk to your mother. You're my mother? Yeah, you That's just offered right. me trash cookies. Though sometimes I get treated like the hired help around here. I don't remember you. Of course you don't. Until you need your socks washed. No, you don't understand. I can't remember where I am or even who I am. Land's sake, stop your joshing, won't you? Honestly, Steve, I thought you'd grow up a little after graduation. I only hope that new job will plant your feet on the ground. So that's my name. Steve. Your name will be M.U.D. Mud if you don't stop teasing me, young man. Listen, this may sound strange, but I've lost my memory. Clearly she doesn't. Do you believe me? Well, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. Sure, and next you'll be telling me you don't remember Hank and your little sister. Sorry, who the fuck is Hank again? When did I graduate? Four months ago, as if you could forget that. What college? College? A high school diploma is all you need to get a job. And besides, you can't marry Stephanie if you're going to waste your time going to college. Eighteen years old and you're just now getting your first job. It's a disgrace, but better late than never. I guess we can thank Stephanie for that. To be fair! To be fair! She's kind of right about the college thing. My degrees, plural, are kind of worthless. Do we actually... Quick question. Quick, quick question. Do we have any comp sci majors? Do we have any current comp sci students in chat right now? Here, here, me. So like, so like, what's the plan for you guys? What's the plan for you guys? No accounting, good for you. Good for you choosing a very stable industry. What's, what's the plan for comp size students? I, like, like I'm sorry with the job market as it is right now. I, I'm sorry to say, Please don't become baristas. I don't wanna I don't wanna comp sci major making my coffee in the morning. No, no, not at all. I, I'd much rather have English students continue to make my coffee. Help desk or die. <laughs> Design between accounting and mechanical energy engineer. I would go accounting. I would 100 percent go accounting. Like Like, what are you guys gonna do after comp sci finishes? Like, and to the people who are currently working in computer science, like, do you predict? Do you predict that there's gonna be jobs for new grads in the next couple years? Thankfully, I, I also studied administration and business stuff, so I can get something from that. I'm gonna be real. I'm going to be real. If it weren't for what happened to all the comp sci majors, business would be like the second worst degree to have. <laughs> there will be jobs, but not graduates with no experience. Really? Liberal arts is the safest degree? I mean, honestly speaking, honestly speaking, everyone I know with a liberal arts degree and everyone I know with a business degree, they do the same fucking jobs. Just one of them is a lot less gruesome to get than the other. But I guess it depends. I guess it depends. I say business reports are easier to pump out than essays. But... 
I think the people you meet in business school, school suck a whole lot more than the people that you meet in a liberal arts program. I took film, now I work freelance. It's honest work, pays well, but my time is very constricted. I mean, the fil film industry is this whole other beast. Writer strike happened and basically everyone I know in film was out of a job. And That's just who Stephanie. is Stephanie? Don't you dare toy with that sweet girl. If you start in on her with all this amnesia poop, amnesia she'll poop. think her fiancé is having second thoughts about the wedding. Fiancé? Wedding? Okay, artist derogatory. I never actually, I never actually got a liberal arts degree. I kind of regret it. I kind of regret it. I, I kind of wish that I studied what I wanted to study in college. Um, well, I kind of regret college period, so that says a lot about me. Stephanie is a fine gal. You better do right by her, Dizzy. Oh boy, oh boy, I better work hard. Look, all this talk about weddings is nuts. I'm not marrying anybody till I figure out what's going on here. First, the heartbreak of psoriasis, and now this. Not psoriasis. Two weeks before the wedding, and you're backing out. Whatever will the neighbors think? I can't marry someone I don't even know. Fine. Yes, you can. No way, but leave me out of it. People do it in the middle, in the in Middle March, East right all the time. Door, do it yourself, and don't expect me to write you a note. I will show agriculture. I think agriculture is a very worthwhile thing to study, actually. Die screaming. Thank you for the ten dollars. Degrees is is significantly less important than target industry. I mean, yes, but I feel like you could definitely. <laughs> I, I feel like you could definitely expand on that point. Um, honestly, I think about short courses between two months and two years to learn something and then get a job from it. It's an associate's diploma. Ah! Yeah, there's value there. There's definitely value there. I don't know. It all depends on your life circumstances. I just definitely... I definitely think college is a good thing. Higher education is a good thing. But it's not for everybody. That's my take on it. Definitely don't need it, and it... Mm, I think it helps you in aspects that would help a job, like socialization. I think a lot of people at that age aren't properly socialized yet. But do you need it for a job? Not real. Unless you want to be a doctor or something, you know? Yuki Nagato, thank you for $2. College loan debt funds. Ugh. 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 There's no value in an associate. I mean, like if you're going to school for like dental hygienist, I think it's like a one year program or something. That's totally worth it, I guess. Just go to med school. Yeah, just get into med school, stupid. Once you get into med school, you're gonna be swimming in bitches. Engineering can make you even less social talking from experience. Well, that's engineering. <laughs> Face connect job fair when. Okay, who got their... Who here has their degree? In fudge packing. If you've got a degree in fudge... Fudge packing, email FaZe today to start your new career as a warehouse fudge packer. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Raising your hand. Now I flunked that class. Shut up, packed harder. Shut up, fudge... Should've been fudge packing harder. What about forklift certification? Doesn't matter if you can't pack fudge. Uh, did I ask about the wedding? Let's ask about my fiance. Fiance? This is insane! Oh, you're not having oh, second no, we thoughts about marrying. Can something like that stop this foolishness right now? And oh wait, no, no, that was new dialogue. God damn, I can't tell. Um. Cooking and cleaning, wedding. Cooking and cleaning. What's cooking and cleaning got to do with anything? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Honestly, boys are so dense. What else is there is for a wife but hero? cooking and cleaning? <laughs> you may not appreciate a hot meal on a clean plate when it's there, but if it wasn't, we'd hear about it soon enough, I'll bet. You're saying that's all there is to marriage? Cooking and cleaning? Well, you'll uh, have to ask your father about that, but I'm sure Stephanie will do her duty when the time comes. Based mom, 
face month. Hey, hey, hey. Cooking and cleaning is not what marriage is about. Breeding and eugenics are. Get it right, chat. Gosh. 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 It's all about the breeding. Bless your innocence, but there are certain disgusting truths that go along with marriage. Facts that can't be disguised by sheets which wrap around the contours of flexing go-go's and bouncing legs. You can't know what I'm talking about and that's best. When the time comes to make a baby with Stephanie, you'll have to make your peace with the fact that when a farmer plants his seed, he can't help but get some nasty dirt on his hoe. Sorry, is she a hoe or... Listen, listen. In a marriage, in a marriage chat, both men and women have an equal duty when it comes to breeding. You can't just sit back. You can't just sit back and expect a woman, expect a woman to breed all over you. She can't do that. You too have a duty to the woman to keep her <laughs> Yes, I can watch me. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Everybody gotta be breeding. Men gotta be breeding. Women gotta be breeding. The cows gotta be breeding. The sheep out back have to be breeding. By golly, I think the dogs gotta be breeding too. We are, this is an equal opportunity, breathing out. <laughs> it's a whole lot of breathing. She said it's breathing time and then breathes everywhere. I breathe in the back. I breathe in the front. I breathe on the left. I breathe on the right. Every day we must be breeding in all four corners of the world, in all four elements. Wind, fire, water, and earth. <laughs> I'm taking note on this. Uh, and now you have, listen, if you want to graduate, if you want to graduate from Florida State University, with your bachelor's in breeding, take notes. This will be on the final exam. Does people first need someone willing to breed with them first? But well, fuck you too, buddy. <sighs> I never knew parasites were so obsessed with reproduction. But it makes sense, I guess. What else? What else would parasites be doing? Getting gerbs? Getting gerbs? Nah, the gerb is all to support the breeding. <laughs> Let's talk about my father. My father. My father. He's in the other room. He decided to sleep in today. Now, please let me get back to my cookies. Okay, mom. The bake sale was on Friday. And yet you're baking the cookies now. Never put off to tomorrow what you can do today. But they'll be stale by then. That's why I'm throwing them away. And then cooking more? To replace the ones I throw out. Why? Well, I have to. No one's going to pay to eat stale cookies out of the garbage can. But you expect me to. Of course not, Steve. I wouldn't charge you. I'm your mother. Help yourself. God, it really is my mother. What charity is this bake sale supposed to benefit? It'll help provide a fund for bums and hobos who wander into harvest and have no family ties. Kind of a specific target group, isn't it? You have to pay attention to detail when dealing with such people. I don't know what you mean. You will. The whole thing has been organized by the Lodge. Tell Lodge. me more about this bake sale. Why is it so important? As I told you, many unfortunates who come to Harvest end up needing financial help. 
Why is that the town's problem? It's not a problem, so long as those folks are taken care of. It's the will of the Lodge. Holy shit, I live in a communist 1950s society! What Lodge? The Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon, Steve. It's just the finest place in Harvest, and the most exclusive. And the most exclusive? What's so great about it? Why are you in Cuba? Hard to say, since hardly anyone gets inside. But it wouldn't be so exclusive if it wasn't just wonderful. Just like the new Reynolds dishwasher with their patented auto dry process TM. I've never used one, but I know I want it. Instead of sulking around the house all day, why not walk over to the lodge and apply for membership? Because I'm unemployed. Why not? I'll go look into it. Hey, the last thing I want is a fez on my head. I'd love a fez. I think we should bring fezes back. That's wonderful, Steve. If you got into the lodge, you'd be the talk of Harvest. Can I ask what Harvest is? Harvest is a town unlike any you've ever known. In what way? I don't have time to go into it now. Why not take a walk around town and pester someone else? I'm busy. Mother dearest, all you do is cook other. Why are you a hag? Stop speaking nonsense, dear. Mars Carl, thank you for five dollars. If you drop an F bomb in the other text field, you get a funny nineties Easter egg bonus. Don't forget to put Just the papers out for Jimmy. That, I you won't. know how he gets. Hee <laughs> hee. Slap her. How do I get to my father's room? Father! Father! <laughs> oh jeez. Oh jeez. I guess I gotta walk around. Is that in the mailbox? It's full of junk mail, bills, and big sale flyers. Okay, let's see if I can go closer to it. Oh, no. My house, the general store, post office, barber shop, missile base, the lodge. Well, I did tell my mom I was headed to the lodge, so I guess I'll, I'll mosey on down now. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Is this a kitty? Hi kitty 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 kitty. Hi kitty 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 kitty. Is this face goo? Hi gooey 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 goo. Hi gooey 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 goo goo. Called it, it's a cult. I don't know, it looks like a lodge to me. Doesn't this look like a lodge to you guys? It's a fine, fine lodge. Look at all the... Look at this open concept. They're really uh, tearing... Bringing the walls down, bringing the walls down to make more space in the lodge. They got all these open windows. Very welcoming, very, very welcoming. Only initiates may enter the Hall of the Order of the Harvest Moon. Did you say something? I did not speak, but my mind touched your. Non consensual mind touching! Non consensual mind touching! Who seek enlightenment or want my attention? What do you think of his voice? Do you hunger? I can do the same voice. You want to hear? True knowledge. Yes, I'd like to join the lot. What kind of knowledge? I want to breed. <laughs> Very identical. Yes. Yes, uh, I'm a star VA. Nintendo, Nintendo release um, a voice pack. What would you guys want the voice pack to be? Would you like me to do release um, a, a cartoon villain voice pack? Or, no, let me do StarCraft. StarCraft. Oh, your bases belong to me. 
<laughs> That's lying, right? That's lying, right? <laughs> Goblin pack one line. No, no, it wouldn't be I want to be. It'd be squish, 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 squish. <laughs> Not even close. I think I got pretty close. I'm in touching your mind, voice pack. Just as a reminder, chat, here at Phase Connect, we we endure safe, consensual mind touching. Always wrap up before you touch minds. Oh, I didn't really get the go. <gasps> well, Fawns, did you break under the pressure? Have you finally cracked? One of us. One of us. One of us. Love bug. Love bug. Love bug. <laughs> but we will need to pick you for $2. Take my money now. Yoink. <laughs> okay. Um, what kind of knowledge? Yeah, let's go with this. What kind of your knowledge? The forgotten pleasures, and pleasures as yet undiscovered. But such is not for the likes of you. Not yet. You must first fill out an application to be considered for initiation into the mysteries. Member for six months, Alex. Thank you for being a member for six months. Uh, Shadow Wizard Gang. I am 100% sure this is just a swingers club. Like, 120% this is a swingers thing. Just join at first, I thought that was Dizzy doing a voice. That was me doing the voice, can't you tell? Paperwork? Why should I fill out stupid boy? <laughs> Allie Ming throw. Give me one second. Rabobagu, thank you for two dollars. Who's up touching their mind right now? You guys trying to touch minds? Remember to do... Remember to do it consensually. Yeah. Oh. Okay, give me an application then. <laughs> I love paperwork. Paper, please. available at the post office. Postmaster Boyle disseminates them to the uninitiated. I do not sully my hands. Then I just fill it out and return it to you, or what? You may find it difficult to obtain an application. You will no doubt need to find some way to persuade Postmaster Boyle to give you one in the middle of the month, as it is against his rules. When you do, however, bring it to me. And if you are worthy, you will be put to the test. Boy, they sure are uh, anal about this paperwork. Arc Light, thank you for the super. Was this supposed to be an initiation ritual to become a love bug? Well, if you want to become a love bug so badly, first, you gotta drink the goo. And then when you drink the goo, I, I climb up your butthole and then I make a little home right below your rib cage, right? Mm-hmm. And then slowly over time, you'll notice that your limbs start to shrivel up. And as your limbs start shriveling up, you'll start noticing that you're shrinking. You're shrinking, you're shrinking, and then you fall into a very deep sleep. Uh... <laughs> a year-long sleep over. And then when you finally awaken, you'll find that you are not the you that you knew that you were. Itchit, thank you for being a member of one month. Yes, please climb up there. <laughs> thank you! <laughs> Get out of my ass, Dizzy. I'm only there for a brief moment. I climb up into your ribcage very, very quickly, and I make myself very, very comfortable. When I wake up from a deep sleep, will I be a cute animal anime girl? No! You'll be a useless bug! With two... Two little buggy arms to help you get around. And legs that don't work. Rad, it's Ace. Thank you for five dollars. I finally get some sleep. Sweet. Exactly. Wait, I want to see the banner. This looks like an ink. 
this looks as ancient as the building itself. It looks quite modern to me, actually. Chad Butter, thank you for five dollars. I'm still six foot two. How long will the shrinking take? Don't worry, I'll come with time. Space Guy Rye, thank you for five dollars. Typically. Typical indeed job application. Mind touch and they still need more applications filled out. <laughs> God. Post office, 41% off packing peanuts. Assorted colors. It's assorted color, guys. I'm excited about that. Who's this? Who's this woman? Is this my wife? Who's this? Postmaster Boyle. Yes? I need some help. Mr... Postmaster Boyle, what can I do for you today? I'd like a large application, please. Mm, sorry, youngster, we're out of applications right now. <gasps> no! Come on, you must have one around here somewhere. Well, I do have the master, but you can't write on that. And I only make copies once a month on the button, regular as clockwork. James J. Jameson, thank you for five dollars. Does he please get me out of the TSA or get out of me? The TSA are gonna think I'm smuggling something. Those machines don't work on organic life forms. Or me, for that matter. Well, can I get go get one at the lodge instead? Come on, it won't kill you and make a lousy copy. Maybe one? Afraid not, son. You can't get them anywhere but the post office. Oh, no. I'm sorry, you'll just have to come back in a month, same as anyone else. And even then, I can't guarantee you'll get an application. The line is always long, and there are never enough to go around. It's very important that I get in quickly. Is it? That's what they all say. Postmaster Boyle, I'll just die if I don't get into the lodge. I can't make an exception, young man. It just wouldn't be right. It just wouldn't be right. Dizzy is at least 20% organic. Define organic. Well, okay, bye. What if I, what if I say fuck to him? Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Okay, bye. Next time you post, don't forget the zip code. All right, everyone, post the zip codes in chat. Maybe this woman could help me. Hello, ma'am. Blind woman is trying to read the mail. Can I, can I rob you? I just rip a mail out of your hands. Maybe the map? Same map! A zip code map with a harvest dead center. Mailboxes that are hardly used. Hmm. Hmm. Examine the flyer. Bake sale, bake sale. Nine three one zero oh, five five eight zero zero eight seven eight three four seven. You guys know that if you guys put your put your zip code into chat, it's too close to mine. I'm gonna show up at your house, right? Should be more careful about that. Should be more safe. That's a bonus, right? You promise? Don't threaten me with a good time. <laughs> There's a weird. There's a weird. It's kind of a missile base. Maybe there's something here. Oh, hello, sir. Oh, who goes there? Uh, they tell me my name is Steve. Steve. All oh, right. This is section 21. Keep your distance, son. I wouldn't want to have to blow your head off. That makes two of us. So you're the amnesiac, huh? Just another draft dodging ploy the way I see it. How does he know? But at least I'm you're amnesiac. not an alien. You see their ships every now and then. Sometimes swell bags one in the woods. Who are you? Colonel Buster Monroe, commander of the Harvest Nuclear Missile Installation. Keeping America safe from those who would dye our flag red, white, and pink. These are nuclear missiles? Goddamn women? right they are. Every one of He's them ready to America rain death on the women? Rooskies. All I gotta do is hit the button and blammo. 
the price of vodka goes through the roof. Along with the vodka. Well, I suppose you have, you know, safeguards against accidents? Safeguards? Don't be such a weak sister. There are no safeguards. This is the 50s. Then you have sole control of the, uh, missiles. That's right. Been in charge here since WW2. When I got my lower to. torso shot off in the war. Yeah, I can see that, sir. Those panty wastes in Washington wanted to stick me behind a desk. To hell with that. They owed me. I left my legs in Dusseldorf. They owed me. Of course, they felt that after the trauma of having to crawl from Germany to England trailing my intestines behind me, I was too emotionally unstable to continue in the military. Just become a That's why they Bendy. gave me this nice cushy job and put me in charge of the nuclear missiles. Oh. So cushy. I like that he naturally just assumes this like sad dog looking towards the sky position. The sad earthworm looking towards the sky. What should I ask him about? The button? His lower torso is emotional instability. Commies, aliens, intestines, nuclear holocaust. The downward facing dog. No, no, it's upward. It's upward. Lower torso, aliens. Let's ask him about aliens. Aside from your commie bastard, your alien from another planet is the greatest threat to our democratic way of life. Invaders did you did know that 90% of sightings occur within the area of military installations? Hell, I shoot at them whenever I see their ships fly over. My bullets ping harmlessly off of their hulls. I suspect those things operate out of the lodge, but just try to convince anyone in Harvest of that. I tell you, son, a nuclear holocaust would be preferable to a takeover by big-headed aliens from Pluto. Lucky for us, I'll be making that call when the time comes. Boo! Boo! He's anti-invaders! Boo! Boo! Invaders for life! I'm pro-invaders life! Boo! Ban this man! Ban this man! Harvest is a fine town, steeped in traditional American values. But that lodge, well, it makes me suspicious, don't mind saying it. They've got their fingers into everything around here. Like a certain red commie bastard menace, which shall be nameless. The Red Skull? Am I in a Marvel Universe? And I'll be sure to stay away from Lodge. Sorry, call though. I've decided to join the Lodge. I'm gonna get shot, right? If I say this, I'm 100% gonna get shot, right? Save? Is there even the option to save in this game? Nope! Can't save! Can't save. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Catch a tiger by the toe. If he hollers, let him go. Eeny, meeny, miny. Can't save. That might work out for the best, mister. I think you should join the Lodge, infiltrate it, and report back on any Red sympathizers. Your report could affect my decision on what I've got to do. Okay, bye. Remember, duck and cover. Yes, sir. I guess I should save now. I guess I should save now. 
Uh, should I do this off screen? Do I have to do this off screen? One second. Just in case. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Ah. Was she hot? I just don't want you guys to, I don't know if it like showed file names or anything. Um, real quickly, real quickly, we're back. Well, that was a fun little military base run. Let's head to a barber shop shop now. Pastorelli's barber shops. Oh, you had an Italians in the states in the 1950s. I see. Except for its occasional hairball cough, it's hard to tell if the sheep is alive or not. Is this a midget? Rose, is this a midget? Howdy, Steve. Yeah, howdy back, Mr. Pete Swell, Steve. Don't you pull my old leg now. Change your mind about that aluminum siding? What are you talking about? I really think you should talk right, your father person, into right. buying some. He can afford it. And I can't stress enough the value of some really fine aluminum siding. Keeps it warm in the summer, cool in the winter, and it keeps out the sheep. I Pastorelli like Pastorelli ought to look into some, but I can't get him to understand a word I say. Let's talk, ask him about the sheep. Oh, it's Tenma? She gonna kill you. Can't understand why Pastorelli keeps that nasty thing in here. Must remind him of the pastures in Italy. Kind of like why I keep wrenches under my pillow. So as I can dream about plumbing. Man's a freak! Man's a freak! Let's ask about plumbing. Well, I seen the end coming for the aluminum siding game, so I took a mail course and learned how to be a plumber. Mm -hmm, now, mm -hmm. there's a business that never lets up. You'd be surprised what people flush down the toilet. That's the weirdest thing you guys ever flush down the toilet. Don't talk shit about my man, Pete. I'll say what I want. Pastor Relly's a rube from way back. Ask Clem Parsons how he followed up with the alarm system in here. I'm a plumber. I could fix it for him, but he just won't listen. Sorry, you flush glasses down your down your toilet? How the a Tamagotchi? What? What? A leprechaun. I'm sorry, if you find a little Irish man, just because you find a little Irish man inside of your toilet, that doesn't mean it's a leprechaun. It's probably just a pervert. <laughs> okay, uh, bye. Nice bye, to see you again, Steve. Nice seeing you too, little man. Let's talk to Mr. Parsons. Hello there, youngster. They say them aliens I was telling you about, well, they came back last night. Cut another crop circle in my south field. You seem very How excited come about I never that, seen none of them saucers clam? Them aliens is wily, Pete. You don't cross the intergalactic void without learning a trick or two. Okay, okay. You know what Pastor really did? Yesterday, he gets an alarm system to protect his pole. <laughs> Only he don't know how to rig it, so now it's all awry. To ask him about the pole? The alarm system of Pastorelli. I want to ask him about the aliens. I want to ask about the aliens. My glasses fell when I was peeing and my intrusive thoughts were like flush the toilet. So did it go down? Did it go down? 
Ask about Pastorelli. The pastorelli's a funny sort. Foreigner, don't you know? He cuts hair pretty good, but he don't know spit about nothing else. You just ask him to hook up an alarm system if you need convincing. Alarm Pastorelli system? shelled out for an alarm system, all right, but he's too cheap to hire an electrician to hook her up. Dang idiot crosswired it through the fire sprinkler, so now when the alarm goes off, it sets the sprinkler spraying. Tarnation! Aliens looking for intelligent life ought to stay away from this shop, sure enough. Oh, for sure, but I don't think that's Pastorelli's fault. Aliens! Well, son, the ways of the alien is a specialized area of woodcraft unknown to all but the wiliest sportsmen. What you gotta remember is, your average alien is smarter than your average human, so you gotta be extra careful building your blind if you want to bag one. You hunt aliens. Son, after nailing an alien, you can never go back to quail. What, you think you can get one of those at a swap me? Line your blind with lead to fool their sensing machines. Lay real quiet and wait. Preferably in the woods around the nuclear base. Oh, they love messing around out there. Why not wait outside your field, Clem? Wait for them to come a carving. All they do, they're crop doodles with zap guns, you darn fool. Don't you know nothing? Besides, ain't no place to put the blind out in the field. Now, you listen to Clem Parsons if you want to tag an unearthly being. They cross the void, wondering what lies beyond, all the time not knowing that what awaits them is buckshot. Why, I'll be. Conspiracy theorists have been around since the 1950s. Poor old Jerry. Poor old Jerry getting hunted. Okay, bye, crazy. Anytime, Steve. Thank you. Hold on, I just gotta catch up on the super chats. I think I missed a couple. Uh, really fast. Really, really fast. Really, really, really fast. Um, Zinni, thank you for two dollars. Does he remember to save? Remembered! Uh, and Crumples, thank you for five dollars. Go ahead, trap me. I'm in northern Canada. I could use a cuddle buddy when the heat fails. Oh gosh, not northern Canada. There's nothing up there. Okay, let's talk to Pastorelli. Mr. Pastorelli, don't respond, not understanding English. That is a dang shame. Okay. What about... What about... Can I walk? Can I walk? Can you click on things? Is that the picture? It's a picture of Mr. Pastorelli as a young buck. Cowhead? It takes a true sportsman to hunt. hunt they don't want to be sticking to his cows. <gasps> Will you? Calling the Buster Monroe, flipping the bird from his B-17 cockpit. Face. Wait. Is this a Jewish thing? It's not a dreidel. It's that thing they put out for, for... A menorah? Is that a menorah? No? Okay. Wait, is that Justin Bieber? A picture of young Mr. Pastorelli. Spaghetti on his mouth and all. Oh. Sculpture? Made of solidified mousse and sticky hairspray, this lovely mannequin is a work of art. That is quite impressive, actually. Hmm, there's nothing I can really take. Can I walk, though? Oh, I can walk! General store. This is the last place to check. This is the last place. I haven't been here yet. Phelps General Store. Them and the handyman. Let's quickly save. Guys, since you guys have been stressing it so much. See? Game one. Ah. Stream froze a bit for anyone else. Oh, the stream okay? The stream okay? Sorry if it froze. 
Let's talk to the handyman. He's too busy at work to notice you. What's with debris? Tape and broken glass, obviously a professional broy. This is a shame. A fire hydrant! A phallic symbol thrusting holy upwards from the concrete, red, ever ready to spew forth. Oh! Dirty, dirty developers! Dirty, dirty! I'm on 480p? Is it on my side? Oh no. Examine the sign. Yum. Creamed asparagus tips. Two for 49 cents. Mmm. Harvest bake sale this Friday of the school gym. Okay. Let's uh, let's go into the store. Say, for example, I need to pick up. What is that? The fucking Pope? See, copy our free copies made here. Oh, I think that's what I'm gonna have to take a thing to. This empty barrel reeks of rotting meat. Okay. Water cooler, dead roaches, and bits of arid grit coat the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. Okay, okay. Barrel. Empty barrel that smells like pickles. Box? An empty meat box. Vacuum? New improved! Suck you up! Super suck vacuum cleaner! Really sucks! Down of the TV. SIO TV with a VHF knob. Okay. Let's talk to Mrs. Phelps. Oh. Can I help you, dear? Who are you? This is Phelps General Store. So who would that make me? Yeah, that was Maybe quite a Maybe you stupid need to question. go back to Game Memorial and have Miss Whaley teach you about logic. I'm fuzzy on a lot of things these days. My memory's gone. Shaw, you always were a kidder, Steve. I'm serious. I need some help. Well, they say a sharp blow to the head is a good thing for amnesia. In which case, I'd recommend Miss Whaley again. Then again, Ms. they Whaley. say a good scare can jog the memory. In which case, I'd advise you to visit the sergeant at arms over at the lodge. That man gives me the willies. Speaking of willies, how's your father? I'd sure know. like to give you my, my so willy, ma'am. Keeps him locked in his room. And I can't get in. Care to buy anything today? Yes, please. Just point to whatever you want. I'm a little hard of hearing. Oh, Michelle. Ooh, let's see. Let's see, we got an adult magazine. Great. A wrench. Okay. Coffee cans. Soup cans. What's that? A tape. I want tape. Blunt force traumas to fix the brain damage. Advanced medical techniques. Indeed. It's the 1950s. If you got a little wound, you just spit on it. Hit Tilly! Lizzie got some fresh buns. Bongo buns. You guys really want girly picks that bad? You guys really want girly picks that bad? Can't you just look at my girly picks? <laughs> A cigarette? Hmm. I will exit for now. I don't want to buy anything I don't need. Get out of here. Let's head home, maybe. Maybe I have to head home, yeah. Okay, we've been near everywhere. We've been near everywhere at this point. Hmm. An army surplus air conditioner? Can I walk? Maybe this way? Oh, no. Oh, the Potsdam residence. We can head there. Let's see what's over here. Talk to Mr. Potsdam. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings Alien him to the Potsdam music. household? Huh? Huh? I've lost my damn memory. I came over to see Stephanie. One of you is the safer than the other. Oh, hold on, I missed that. Examine this picture of a man of a house squeezing his meat. Ah, uh, you like to squeeze your meat, boys? You like Squeezing your meat? Does he want to stay the love bug is he in? Well, he if still it isn't my legs, favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? Wait, no! If 
if it isn't my favorite. Wait, maybe I have to reload game. Okay, let's load it. Is Stephanie an alien? Well, that would explain a lot of things. Go to the pot stands. Depends on the kind of meat. Some is squishy, bear for fun to squeeze. Others cold and hard, not fun. The harder the meat, the more you need to squeeze it. You gotta see if it pops, you know? Pop your meat, boys. There he is, my future son-in-law. And how's he doing today? What brings him to the Pottstown household? Huh? Huh? I've lost my memory. I came over to see Stephanie. Oh, you'll have to ask the missus about that. Stephanie's grounded to the wedding. Uh-oh. <laughs> Can't have her changing her mind at the last minute. Not with all that meat at stake. What meat? What meat, father? Meat is the foundation of any decent society. Everyone needs at least three servings of red meat a day. And anyone who says otherwise is a commie. And once you're married to Stephanie, I'll be part of the family too. And your father will give me all the meat I want. <sighs> kind of makes up for not getting into the lodge. I haven't seen my father. He's locked in a room. I hear him moaning, but that's all. He's not going to die, is he? I sure like hope I said, not. I don't know. That woman, Mom, tends to him herself. Well, next time you see him, be sure to tell him that I said hello, and tell him that I'm praying for his speedy recovery. And also, would you remind him about the meat? Especially about the meat. Yeah, fine. If I see him. You should be more concerned. If he dies, then who's going to take over the slaughterhouse? Who's going to tend to the meat? I guess as his son, you'd take over. Right? Oh no. He wants my meat now. I can't imagine a better job than working in a slaughterhouse. Accounting? Literally accounting? I don't want to work in a filthy slaughterhouse. I think working in a slaughterhouse might be cool. Oh boy. Oh boy. How do you guys feel about working in the slaughterhouse? VTuber agency? Accounting doesn't get you the meat. That's true. That's true. Hmm. Slaughterhouse should at least pay while you think? You think so? I'm pretty sure that's like a lower paying job. The meat does it. We must think of a meat. The meat. The meat. Okay, uh, okay. I think working at Slaughterhouse might be cool. Sure, it'd be just dandy. And you can't argue with success. Everyone in Harvest gets their meat from your dad. <sighs> what a grand business to go into. Oh, sure. Cutting animals open may not be much fun. Reaching into their bodies and yanking out the bloody guts, intestines dangling and slapping against you, the smell of death and shit in your nostrils all the time. Well, those are all definite cons. Why is he describing the slaughterhouse the same way? The guts have been washed into the gutters. What are you left with? Meat. Rows and rows of scrumptious red meat. Why does he talk about the meat the same way that that my fanfic authors talk about anal sex? I just realized I was supposed to say that. <laughs> Did he eat the mic? Is my mic fucked up? Is my mic okay? Is 
there was peak in the game audio. Oh yeah, I think that was game, not me. Okay, okay, okay. Uh Holly G, what else should I ask him about? Meat is the found Ask him about the lodge. Why are you so anxious to get into the lodge? There's wonders inside. Wonders. I've heard there's more meat in there than they know what to do with. Oh my. Now that you're of age, Steve, you might go down to the post office and fill out a lodge application. They're always looking for new blood. Ask about Stephanie? Why is Stephanie grounded? Well, don't look at me. Mrs. Potsdam wants Stephanie to study hard for her finals. Mm. If it was up to me, you could go straight upstairs, but you know, <laughs> the little woman, you'll have to ask her permission to see Stephanie. Sorry, Steve. The last thing I want to do is upset you and your father before the wedding. Not with the meat at stake. You will remind your dad about the meat. Won't you? Talk about the marriage. Tell me about this wedding. Well, it looks like we're going to have to hold the wedding down at the funeral parlor, since I'm not a member of the lodge. <laughs> Mr. Moynihan has given his okay, and your father is going to cater the affair <laughs> with plenty of meat. Who's Mr. Mo Moynihan? Moynihan is the undertaker. He also runs the Wayward Hotel. Since he's providing the space for the wedding, you might stop by and say hello to him. Me is interfering Just with to the be sound. Sociable. Is the sound okay? But whatever you do, be sure to say hi to your father for me. Will you do that? Tell him hi and remind him of the meat. Dude, this guy has bought up my dad's meat way too many times. Way, way, way too many times. Or static in the background. I think that's just sound design. Very purposeful or whatever. Um. Sorry, you'll have to ask Mrs. Potsdam for permission to see Stephanie. She's in the kitchen. Okay. Hey, Miss Potsdam. Icebox is locked. Oh, I guess she doesn't want her mat and getting up meat. The entire kitchen has a minty fresh looking scent. Ooh! Slay, Miss Potsdam, slay! Isn't he the man of the house? Hello, Steve. Have you flossed today? Not in the face of me. I have flossed today. Have you, Miss Potsdam? You look just like my mom, except for her hair. I'd like to see... What's her name? Stephanie. Well, Stephanie is grounded, Steve. Why? I'm sure I don't know. Mr. Potsdam has sent her to her room, and in her room she'll stay until Mr. Potsdam says otherwise. Probably until the wedding. Passing the buck, aren't ya? Ask about Tell wedding. me about this wedding. Well, it's set for three weeks. We're holding it over at Shady Oaks, Mr. Moynihan's funeral parlor. Mm -hmm. Say what? Now, I know it's not a very romantic place, but there's nowhere else to hold it. Thanks to Mr. Potsdam. Ask about Mr. Potsdam. You mustn't be too hard on Mr. Potsdam, Steve. He's a disappointed man. No matter how many lodge admission forms he fills out, they keep turning him down. He has a new application in, though, so keep your fingers crossed. If he joins the lodge, you and Stephanie can have your wedding in the Chapel of Love rather than over at Moynihan's place. Really quickly switching over. Actually, I'm a bit late on this, so maybe the cookies are bright right now. Hi, Sheena. Thank you for the raid. Cunny, cunny. Ka, 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 cunny. Cunny, cunny. <laughs> Hello, raiders. Welcome to the stream. We're just playing um, Harvester, which is this little, little horror game made in the 90s. It's like a, it's like a point and click or something. Butter cookies are done! Butter cookies are done! Official cover one? God, I would be terrified to do an official cover of that. <laughs> she did such a good job of her. She did such a good 
job of hers. You guys want spoilers? Do you want spoilers on what she was working on? I'm just kidding. I don't have any. I just like to scare her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, thank you for raid, Sheena. Did you guys enjoy her horror game? Did you guys enjoy her horror game? Did they hate? Is it because I'm a deceitful, beautiful woman? as I thought I would. <laughs> this is gross, but I like it. Ew, you're gross for that. I didn't think Harvester would be allowed by YouTube standards, but here we are. Nice. Have you played this before? Have you played this? Uh, let's ask about the Lodge. What can you tell me about the Lodge? Just that they're exclusive and secretive. If you're curious, you want to pick up a lodge application at the post office and take it over to the sergeant at arms. Isn't that a thought? Forget Mr. Potsdam. If you became a member of the order, we could hold the wedding inside the lodge. My, wouldn't that be lovely? Well, wouldn't it? Make sure I are putting like a lot of importance on the lodge. I. I gotta get in. I gotta get in so I can have a successful wedding. Talk about the wedding. Tell again. me about this wedding. Well, oh, we say did what? This. Now, Mr. Moynihan. Let's ask about Mr. Moynihan. Mr. Moynihan runs the Wayward Hotel and the Shady Oaks Funeral Parlor. It's rumored he has connections with the lodge, but the order keeps that kind of thing secret. So Mr. Poston has tried to get him to put in a good word for his lodge application, but so far. Hmm. Okay, well, bye, Miss Pot. Give my regards to your parents. I'll do my best. Is there anywhere to go? The back door. Witches are preventing it from opening. Suspicious. YouTube lets people play a honey pop. Wow. Okay, but is honey pop even that bad? It's. Uh, and like. The grand scheme of H game. Honey Pop is pretty like. mediocre, right? It's tamed, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You should really play Honey Cat. Oh. Oh. It's no sex with Stalin. That's true. It is no sex with Stalin. If it isn't my favorite son-in-law, what brings you here again? Your wife said to talk to you. Mrs. Potsdam. Stop mumbling, Steve. I can't understand you at all. Oh, jeez. Okay, bye. Guess I won't be able to see Stephanie. Can I see the bookcase? No. Nope. Guess I might just have to go. What's this plant? A giant mutant asparagus, inexplicably robust, given the fact that it's encased in red concrete, perhaps the healthiest electromagnetic field in harvest? Can I take it home? Ashtray. Well, Papa Joe, kill that thank you for 199. Is this coming from personal knowledge? Coming from what now? From H game knowledge? I thought about it. I thought about running some H games. Like, as like late night streams or something 
But then, but then I don't know which ones would be over or under the threshold. So else I think management would kill me. <laughs> Change mic stack. Is it your setup? Is your setup cursed? Is it? It's just a game audio. It's a game audio. Dizzy play Rants. Rants is a good game. Rants has actually good gameplay. Oh. Oh, I can go to other. Oh, I can move around. Mm. Oh, there's so many more places to explore. Oh my god, okay. A meat plant. We gotta get that meat. Gotta get that meat, baby. We want they need Dizzy After Dark. Do you prefer Dizzy After Dark or Dizzy in the morning? Meat, 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 meat. Is this meat? Sir, is this meat? Are you meat? You are meat. Hmm. Get. This game's really clunky. Can I examine the tracks? Bloody tire traps, okay. Kitty! Kitty! Many kitties! Meow! Dizzy after dark is too hot for FaZe Kanat. Hi there, listeners, and welcome to Dizzy Duck Girl After Dark. Today we're going to be investigating the Harvest Meat Factory. Oh, yeah, meat. Meat and cats. <laughs> what, you guys didn't like that? You guys didn't think that was hot and sexy? <laughs> A little more smoke in your voice and it'll be perfect. Sorry, let me light a cigarette. Ahem, ahem. Ahem, 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 ahem. Hi there, listeners. And welcome to Dizzy After Dark. Today we'll be exploring the Harvest Meat Factory. With all these nice, bad pussy cats. <laughs> Too hot! That's hot! Yeah, now you get my attention. <laughs> uh, you know why chat wants you to marry now? No, I don't. <laughs> the cats are meat now. We're just hanging out. Let's see. Whatever is in these barrels smell extremely bad. That's just got cats hanging around them. We got pee all over. We got pee all over. Kitty kitty. Pretty kitty. Pretty pretty pretty. pretty. Kitty kitty. Oh! Wait a minute, you might be right. The cats might be the meat. Peppermint, thank you for your super chat. Hell yeah, that might be too hot. Oh yeah! You want me to turn the heat up in here? <laughs> This used to be a kitty cat. Oh no, my pussy cat! What about the carcasses? Carcasses of several small animals. Okay, those look more like pigs than maybe cats. Cats have nine lives, so he'll be okay. Well, phew! Golly gee, I'm glad to see that he's gonna be okay. Dizzy not you sound like a South Park NPC. No, 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 South Park, I'm gonna hear me every time. Freshly cured cut me. Okay, can I talk to Pat O'Reilly? How's your father? Is he better? Uh, about the same, I guess. He's been away from work for weeks. And when I call your house, your mother won't let me talk to him. Oh, no. I haven't seen him either. This is a fine kettle of fish, I must say. Though I am glad to see you taking an interest in the business in your dad's absence. Who are you? Aw, oh, Steve, I didn't want to believe that amnesia hokum. Now you're saying you don't remember your pal Pat O'Reilly? How does everyone in the town know I have amnesia? How does everybody know? Him? 
Now he's waving his meat all over the place. That's just how he says hello. Let's talk about the family business. You may come to realize that this business is not for everybody. Just ask your poor, ill dad. It takes dedication and a strong stomach. What was that, egg? A lot of times when I'm finished scrubbing up and digging the bits of intestine out from my fingernails, I must confess I don't have much appetite for red meat. But red meat is one of the principal food groups, and you've got to have it. So when you can do this all day and help yourself to a juicy red steak afterwards, then by golly, you can call yourself a butcher. Of course, amnesia would certainly help that, wouldn't it? human eyeball? He's a traitor. How's he a traitor? Hmm. Let's talk about the meat. I gotta get familiar. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna become a butcher, I gotta learn the tricks of a trade. Come to think of it, I don't see any cattle around here. Where do you keep the animals? We're farm raised. <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest cuts. The motherfucking Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? So true. Oh god, not the lodge gun. I'm sure it's good. Can I have some meat to take home? I can't believe... I can't believe a fly hacked into my system. Hacked into my game. Um, let's keep talking. Oh god, not the lodge guy. Listen, Steve. I've never met a group of individuals as upstanding as the Order. You ought to think about joining the lodge. You really should. Hmm. Well, let's talk more about family business. You may come to realize that this business is not oh, a strong stuff. Oh, right, just... A lot of times, when I'm finished scrubbing up, I must con... But red meat is one of the principles. Then by God. Of course, Amni. Okay, let's talk about my pappy. My pappy. What exactly illness. is wrong with your dad? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it too much, Steve. You should be thinking about running the family business one day. That, getting into the lodge. Yeah, this really is American. The only two values that, that anyone in the city has is getting into the lodge and the family business. Uh, amnesia? Let's talk about my amnesia. Look, I'm not kidding about the amnesia. Why won't anyone believe me? Well, you always were such a kidder, Steve. I sure as hell I don't feel too like hard. a kidder I just now. I too hard. I see a lot of VTubers playing this game. Why did it suddenly take off? Are a lot of people playing it right now? I've only seen Tenma play it. I've only seen Tenma play it. So. Uh, I don't know. It's kind of... I'm assuming it's one of those cult classic things. That's more about cats. Let's see. What's with all the cats? This is a slaughterhouse or a kennel? Oh, them? They eat the scraps, that's all. Trap. Yeah, but look at them. Isn't there some kind of health department that keeps tabs on these things? Are you going to work at the health department, Steve? Or here? Here. You seem too expensive, I wonder why. Here, of course. That's good to know. Your father will be very happy if he recovers. My point was only, you shouldn't allow animals in the food processing area, right? We don't let them get into the meat. That's unsanitary, and the health department wouldn't stand for it. There's things you don't know about the family business, but you'll learn. Come to think of it, I, I don't see any cattle home. around here. Where do you keep the animals? <laughs> Does it matter? The end product is all the customer cares about, Steve. And we only carry the finest meat. Only the juiciest. Motherfucking dog! Once you take over the business, you'll realize the importance of maintaining quality while cutting costs. We know what we're doing here, Steve. If we didn't, would the lodge use us to cater their affairs? Yeah, let's take some of this home. I'm sure it's good. Can I have some meat to take home? Your father's very particular about the <gasps> profit, Steve. No freebies for anyone. But seeing how you're his son, if you'll bring written permission from your father, I'll give you the meat. Gosh, okay. Talk about cutting costs. 
and then there are certain get tricks of the trade, Steve. See my dad. Once your dad gets better and you start working in here cutting up the meat, you'll be privy to them. There's always cheaper, better ways to do things, if you're creative. Very American. Okay, bye, dude. Don't be such a stranger, Steve. And my best to your dad. I'll come visit more often then maybe feed some cats. How did I get that man's meat? I must get that man's meat and keep it inside of me. Inventory. <laughs> I think I'm funny. Hmm. Where should I go? Cemetery or should I go home? that? A day glow lima space just stuck on the roof. Oh. Talk to mom. See if she'll give me permission to go see dad. I feel like a child for divorce. Trying to get my mother's permission to see my father. I told you I'm busy, Steve. Why don't you talk to Hank or go next door and visit Stephanie or go get an early start on your new job. What's my job? That's right, a job. Your father has everything set up at the meat plant. After your honeymoon with Stephanie, you'll start out as a butcher in the slaughterhouse just like anybody else. Don't expect any favors just because you're the boss's son. Slaughterhouse. Or Work at a slaughterhouse? My memory may be shaky, but I do know I don't want to spend my life as a butcher. You'll get used to it, Steve. Sooner or later. You'll have to. That sounds like a threat. Just a fact. Harvest is a small town. And if you want to be with Stephanie, you'll have to get your hands dirty. Jobs are scarce, so it's either work for your father or join the lodge if you can. Mm. Uh, Don't forget to put the papers out for Jimmy. You know how he gets. Join the health department? Join that lodge. I gotta, I gotta. How do I get into the master bedroom? <laughs> Where does the lodge get its meat from? From my dad! Dad be giving his meat to just about everybody. Can I just put the Damn it. Well, Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Well, that didn't work. Damn it. Gosh, darn it. Time to join a cult? Hmm. Let's see, maybe we go to the Ben house first. Anything here? Wasp? Apparently there's wasps in here. Uh oh! Who's this? Ice boss is sealed and shut with a wasp nest. But at least we're not flies. It's not often that I get visitors. Hi, ma'am. I am Tetsuo Krum. The ignorant of harvest called me the wasp woman. A pejorative, no doubt. Born of fear and a poverty of imagination. I don't understand. Me neither. The politics of honey. The Judeo-Christian rites of sacrifice and conventional taboos against unbridled pleasure are all responsible for the prejudice against wasps. See guys, this is what happens to you when you attend college. You sure learn a lot of big words, but you also end up living in an abandoned house with a bunch of wasps. about pleasure yes a great deal of pleasure the wasp is a sensual being not a laborer hedonistic instead of industrial some think them quick to anger in truth they are easily swayed to ecstasy they penetrate your flesh and the muscular contractions in their thorax as they pump venom could be likened to the muscular contractions of ejaculation. Ah, oh, great. She's a fucking bug fucker. 
an act of love. A triviality. This is what liberal arts does to you! Let's ask her about the wasp. Regard the wasp. Wasps produce nothing for others, but only for themselves. Wasps build nests and more wasps, nothing more. They spread into eaves and attics, not to make honey for supermarkets, but to buzz and rustle on their own paper, perpetuating their own agenda, growing stealthily, surely. The most relentless of insects. The lot? Is it a... Is it a bug sex cult? Love bugs, did you start a bug sex cult and you didn't invite me? I can't believe my own love bugs would do this to me! Okay, tell me about sacrifices. When a bee stings, it rips itself apart. You didn't tell us to invite you, grub. This appeals to those raised worshiping a god that demands sacrifice and atonement. Scatter! No, you come the back right here. You come back right now. Come back, come back. Come they back, love bugs. How dare you nasty. start a sex cult without telling because me? How dare you start one without nasty. inviting me? I got empty hard? to sting another day and they take pleasure from it are you taking pleasure from leaving me out of the sex call what the fuck love bugs We had to give your invitation to a fish man. What the fuck? I made you. You are nothing without me. Ooh, I hate those rascally love books. <laughs> you can sit on the chair in the corner, Dizzy. What the fuck? Okay, yeah, maybe that is one of my kinks. But still, what the it was supposed to be a surprise. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Then invite me to the lodge, love bugs. Where's my lodge invite? I'm owed reparations. You owe me reparations for the trauma. The trauma I had to... The trauma I've received from you guys. Give me reparations and an invitation now. Cock chair is... Hey! Hey! Lost in the mail. I know that's not true because the postmaster didn't have it. The postmaster didn't have it. Where's my invite? I deserve an invite right now. Love bugs. Oh, me. You'll receive your new invite the next business. <laughs> We owe you nothing. I made you. I am the one who parasited into your people. I am the one who birthed imperfect parasites that resulted in you becoming love bugs. I am a creator of all. I am a master of the universe. Fine. 
If I don't get a, if I don't get an invite, then I'm ending stream. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. You better send me my invite right now. I'm gonna do it. I, I'll do it. I'm gonna do it. I'm getting ready right now. Yeah, I'm getting ready to do it right now. You're gonna make me do it. I'm really gonna do it, guys. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna end stream right now. I'm ending. I'm going to have a start. I'm going to the ending screen. Turning off the desktop audio. I'm going straight into the ending screen right now. I'm really gonna end it, guys. I'm really gonna end it. I'm gonna end it all. I'm gonna end it all. You guys aren't gonna see me again for the rest of tonight. I'm ending it. I, I'm ending it. You, this is your guys' fault. You guys made me end it. It's because you guys made me end it. I didn't want to have to do this, but you're, you're making me end it. It's all your fault. It's all you. You did this. You're the reason I'm ending it. It's you. Nobody else. It's all your fault. I'm telling you, I'm ending it right now. I'm ending it right now if you don't send me an invite. I, I'm really gonna do it. I'm really gonna do it. Guys, I'm, I'm doing it. I'm ending I'm gonna do it right now. Right now. I'm, a, I'm really gonna do it like right now. Citra, thank you for the two dollars. Have a good night, Diz Dizzy. <laughs> Sage, I'm gonna do it. Thank you for the super chat. Garbage pasta, I'm gonna do it. I'm good. I'm ending. I'm seriously ending. I'm gonna end it. I'm ending it right now. I'm not even gonna raid anyone. I'm gonna end it so hard that you won't even see a raid. Just watch me. 